Yo, what is up guys, Rebellious Squeezer here, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can take care of your leather laces. I've seen so many people get a brand new set of leather laces, put them on, they snap, and then they're like, oh, I'm never buying another pair of leather laces again. Well, today I'm going to show you how to prevent that. So let's get into today's video. So, basically... What I've done is I've got a bowl of canola oil here. A lot of people are going to say, oh, it's going to rot it over time. I've had this pair of leather laces for over two years now. Uh, these are the ones that I use for my Iron Rangers. I just got a new pair of uh, leather laces for my Iron Rangers. But I figured that would be a good way to show that this will not rot it over time. If it does, it takes more than two years. And I would say a pair of $5 leather laces, which is what I paid for these, you know most people don't get two years out of their laces anyways so basically what you're gonna want to do is take your leather lace and drop it in the canola oil this is pretty self-explanatory from this point forward but I'm gonna show you anyways drop it in the canola oil and make sure that the leather laces are completely submerged and you want to let them sit in there for a hour is what I typically do all right, they're completely submerged. So what we're gonna let uh, we're gonna let them sit here for about an hour, an hour and thirty minutes, something like that. The reason I'm outside is because on the inside there's people on the inside of my house, my family, and I didn't think you guys would want to hear that in the background. So we're gonna cut to uh, we're gonna cut. Well, you guys, it'll last you guys about you know two seconds, but for me it's gonna be about an hour and thirty minutes. Before I do that though, I would like to say I appreciate. Uh, all the views I've been getting, you, there's been a lot of people liking my videos. I started off getting, you know, 10, 15 views and no likes or anything like that. But ever since I've started to stay consistent with my videos and uh, get my hands all oily and, uh, you know, just put a lot more work into my videos, I've been getting a lot more feedback. I've seen a couple of people commenting and I appreciate it. And I'd like to, uh, my goal is to get around 30 subscribers. Uh, that's been my uh, goal ever since I started a YouTube channel. So I've been working a lot here lately trying to uh, get to that point. And then my goal after that, I'd say, will be 100 or something like that. But I just wanted to say real quick, I appreciate all the feedback and all the likes and all the views I've been getting. It's really paid off. I appreciate it. All right. So I've just hung them up like this. That way there's, you know, it, it, this is how you get them to dry faster is just hang them a little bit wide so that way it's not one big long string and they're constantly dripping down for a long time. I typically let them dry for, I don't know, three, four hours, something like that. Uh, now that I've got them outside here, they shouldn't take too long, but that's how I'm going to let them dry. And uh, there you go. Once they dry, I'll be right back. All right, so the leather laces are nice and conditioned. That's basically what you're doing is conditioning them. You can use leather conditioner, but I wouldn't, personally, I feel like I'm wasting it if I'm using it on a pair of laces, but they're not nearly as stiff. They're nice and soft. Uh, they're less likely to break. So I really feel like uh, that does a good job. It's been working for me for two years now. So there you go. Thank you for watching.